Hey, this is Allison from Mahalo Math. Welcome to our SAT prep series. We're going to be working some problems, and working with me today is Chrissy and Trevor. So let's get started. So let's take a look at question number nine. We have this diagram here, and it has a point there, the point negative 4, 2. And it says, in the figure, a line is to be drawn through point P so that it never crosses the x-axis. Through which of the following points must the line pass? So we have our point P here. So anybody have any ideas? Um, well, looking at the answers first, what is the um, negative 4, point 2? Those are is that just, where it's at? Yeah, those are just okay. coordinates. Like it, the, the one that w they have diagrammed for us, you go negative 4 in the x direction, and then you go positive 2 in the y direction. And that's where it sits. So all of the answers would indicate, the first number indicates how far you go in x, and then the second number indicates how far you go in y. So what do we know? What kind of line do they want us to draw? What, what do they want the line to do or not do? Um, not go through the, um, the axis? They, right, they want it to not go through the x-axis. So what would that line look like then? It would have to be parallel to it. Yeah, it has to, it's going to have to be a horizontal line, right? Because mm -hmm. we want it to be parallel to the x-axis. We don't ever want it to touch it, right? OK, so we know that. So what do you think the coordinates, one of the coordinates of that line might be? Does the line move up or down? Well, it'd probably be a negative in the, like, y or wait. So if the line is running parallel to the x-axis, is the line moving up or down in y? Mm -mm. It has to stay in the same place. Because if it moves up or down in y, it'll okay. eventually hit the x-axis, right? Mm -hmm. So then the y-coordinate of the answer will have to be the same as the y-coordinate of the point they gave us, right? Mm -hmm. What's the y-coordinate of the point they gave us? 2. Right. They gave us the point f negative 4, 2. And so 2 is the y-coordinate. So take a look at the answers. Are there any answers that have 2 in the y-coordinate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there, is there more than one? Oh, there's 2. That have a positive 2 in the y-coordinate? Or wait. There's just the one, yeah. so it mm -hmm. has to be 4, 2. It has to be this one. And when you think about it, if you, this line is at f negative 4 and 2, so at 4, 2, you're going to get a point on the line that's going to keep it horizontal. So if you're drawing a horizontal line, you can always remember that the y-coordinate won't change. So if you're not sure, look for an answer that has the same y-coordinate as the point they gave you. Now, what if they wanted you to have a vertical line? Then which coordinate would change? The oh. x coordinate. Yeah, if you have a vertical line, then it's not changing in x, right? So it's the same kind of idea. Whatever the x coordinate is of the point that they give you, that coordinate will have to be the same in the answer. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Good. Thanks for learning with us today. If you'd like any more information on these topics, click on the links below. And if you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. We'll see you later.